are named Ali Cole with a number after them. Nice. I kind of stopped naming things, but you'll probably see my name just discovered by so-and-so, and I'm trying to expand the universe as much as possible, but... Well, not universe, the hub. Or hub in construction, so you guys can find it. Uh, but... But, yeah, no, um... A perfect, a decent gaming PC. I, when I was into PC gaming, I bought one for only like $700 at the time, and it was pretty good. It outperformed my PS3 at the time, and uh, now, from because of my own doing, it's a pile of scrap because I my pirating, but. Uh, Potato masher. There's my buggy. I like how you can drive buggies in the caves and stuff like that too. It's like a nice little addition. Uh, I want to play it, but I'm waiting for mods. Without, ah, uh, without dark space, my eyes will go crazy. Well, I mean. There are the filters that you can play with. Here, uh, I'll show you what I mean. If you are a fan of the dark space kind of thing, I suppose you could change the filters and play with the filter on. See, like, it changes the vintage look, so this has a more Instagram feel to it, but it gives it a different feel. It looks like the classic No Man's Sky, I think, right now. Um, but I think there's a there's a filter that kind of gives it the dark space vibe, as opposed to the color. So you never know. Yeah, no, I saw a list, but I but the but most that I use are broken. Ah, okay, now it's cool. Fair enough. The vintage looks like the trailer. I know. It's really nice, and just the graphics in general this game are so, like, I'm still blown away at how great they look now. It's been about... Well, it's been more than a day since the update came out, but... It's insane how well this game looks like, and even the multi-tool, like, I don't remember the multi-tools looking this good. And I'm happy I actually have an organic multi-tool for once. This is my first organic multi-tool. How the hell do I get out of here? And I like how you can see your freighters at night time too. But yeah, that being said guys, if we make that hub, you guys, we can make a, we can make multiple bases here and we can all just travel to them and the planet will feel a lot more civilized and uh, I can only copy post and Rob alright but Rob take care my friend see you next time on the doghouse and thank you for watching and jawbreaker thank you for following the doghouse I appreciate it Where's my buggy? And I think I already said welcome to you, Jawbreaker. But welcome again if I have not said so already. To the doghouse. Is it okay if I link the potato masher PC build? Yeah, sure. Links are enabled. You should be alright. Go ahead, go for it, Rico. Uh, I'm trying to... I think we need... I keep on losing track of what I'm doing. I just want to like wander around aimlessly in this game. <laughs> I'm so tempted to do that in No Man's Sky. That's what I usually do anyway. <laughs> ah, it's alright, old thing.
I think it might have actually been Vibot though. Put Sword away. <laughs> yep. Don't be poking anyone around with that thing, OT. It's bad for people. <laughs> Unless they deserve it, you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so Nickel. Okay. So I wanted the Theta upgrade. And now we need to kill Sentinels. That shouldn't be too hard. Let me just see here. And what I'll probably do too is that Twitter uh, that I had with the pictures, I'll probably put them in the Amino for Nerd League so we can create our uh, Nerd House. I think that's a good idea so people who aren't watching the stream as well can get a good idea of to come here. Hey, we have a Nerd League hub slash doghouse hub. Let's, uh, let's all meet up and have a great time exploring each other's bases and just expanding a hub in the name of Nerd League in the doghouse. Okay, uh... This game needs terraforming machines to make the planet normal temperature, for example. Or like, robots that help, uh... monitor things. Something that we can, like, turn a, a dead planet into a planet that's full of life or something. Or maybe, uh, an idea to make, like, a certain area like lunar domes, if that makes any sense, like a biodome, and have it so that you can build on dead planets. That would be pretty. That'd be pretty sick. Okay, uh, I think we need to kill Sentinels. Here, Sentinel, Sentinel. We have zinc. I don't know what else we just. So we have one neutrino module. Best thing about PC gaming is that every new console generation, if you want to get better performance, sell your sell your GPG and buy a mid-range recent one. Yeah. Can you name bases after you name them? Bases. You can name bases? What do you mean, OT? Hopefully don't... I've not wanted to make mine because I'll end up wanting to change it. Who would win? Uh, Yami Light or Goku? I don't know. Goku's pretty strong. I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z in a long time, though. Oh, he's in my base. Uh, I think I've got an option. To name your base. Let's see. Yeah, name my home base Sweet Home. Let's see. Is there a way to name your base? Rename base. There we go. Here we go. So we can name it Home Base. So what is this base? Uh. Home sweet home. Uh, less. This will be the center of the doghouse. The doghouse. Sweet. I never knew that you could do that. It's actually really cool. Gotta go. I need sleepy time. All right, R Rico. Thank you for popping by on the on doghouse, and I'll see you next stream for sure. And uh, take care. <laughs>
and have a good one, my friend. Dog poop, yes. I really wish that bot, I think it was the bot that was making it, uh... Crash. And dot. New multi-tool? Yep. Uh, the, the bot's not working right now. I turned that bot off. Just because I feel like that was what was interfering. So you can rename So I think I'm going to have to look into Ankbot OT, for sure, because Vibebot was messing things up. <laughs> so... It's kind of dark. And yeah, it's a new multi-tool. I got this when I was actually talking to OT and DM. Uh, I'm not too sure if DM's still here, but I'm sure he's around. He's always around. He's that one creepy guy who... <laughs> watch him from the bushes. <laughs> but, uh... No, I found this right before the stream, actually. <laughs> yep. Song request. I don't have that set up. Wisebot does have that feature available, but I have to pay for it. We're gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to look at the Ankbot for sure, because Ankbot works wonders on Dylan's stream, and uh... <laughs> see DM's right there. <laughs> God damn it, DM. <laughs> For some odd reason though, even though this is, uh, it lacks one upgrade on it, this, uh, this multi-tool upgrade, it's a lot more st better stuff, but I think it's because all, yeah, it's because all these three are interconnected, so I think it really matters how you kind of establish it, even though these are all mining upgrades, I think it has to be, like, put in a certain way, if that makes any sense. Okay, so we need to kill more sentinels. Just a few more. I don't know where they are. Uh, oh gosh. But I'm so I'm excited about the hub idea. Cause if we can get the hub going, it'd be awesome. You guys can build on the planet over there, or here, or even on another system nearby, or just expand it ever so, or just call. We can choose one planet to colonize the crap out of and. Can make a city on a on a planet. Uh, okay. I want to have a 40 slot multi tool, but also the multi caster upgrades. I know Nazgul. It's one or the other, though, right? I agree, OT. It's going to be amazing. And maybe, maybe we can get on the off chance. I know Dylan plays on the PC now, but maybe he'll see, well, I'm sure he'll see the Amino post, but maybe he can get there on the PS4 on his off time. Even if he doesn't stream it, maybe his presence will be enough. Our benevolent leader. I need... Something though. Oh, I don't need that. I think there are only two or so base locations to build on planets, though, sadly. Oh. Well, we could confirm. Uh, uh, I want to say we could com confirm that. We can use a buggy to drive, but driving planet base to planet base would be kind of annoying in a buggy. But. 